The death penalty, okay. Yeah, this country didn't have one for quite a while there in, in my era, the 70s. We got rid of it, and it didn't do us any good to get rid of it. It didn't mean anything. I'll first say that, look, I think the, the whole justice system is bullshit. There's lots of stupid laws, okay? But most of the people that get the death penalty damn well deserve it, okay? There's some really crazy ass loony people out there that we just don't have. There's no reason to waste time on rehabilitating them. There's no rehabilitation for these people. There's nothing. And just as we would put a mad dog down, we should put them down. The justice system, the governor, whoever's gonna sign the death warrant, he should be accountable for what he is signing. His own welfare should be at stake. If he is wrong, he should pay the piper for being wrong. For fake saying to call it state murder is bullshit, okay? There is such a thing as law and order. There's got to be respect for it. The idea of paying a fortune to keep these guys alive in some cage somewhere for 50 years is bullshit. Okay, a lot of them would choose to die. I remember the case of Gary Gilmore. It took 10 years for the guy to get killed and he wanted to die. He had to petition the court to be allowed to be shot. He wanted to get it over with. He knew he was a piece of shit. He said, yes, kill me, I'm a piece of shit. And we couldn't even get that done. This whole idea of these people talking like it doesn't matter whether we use a tire iron to kill them or we lethal injection and we try to do it in a humane way. That is the most preposterous nonsense you could possibly utter out of your mouth. Do any of you people ever own a pet? Have you ever watched an animal suffer and die? I mean, I have to spend every year, I end up spending money. Stray cats, other animals, they're dying. I have to spend the money to have them humanely put to sleep because I've seen animals do it the real natural way and it sucks. I don't even know how to speak to people who don't understand understand the fucking logic that there's such a thing as a good way to die and a bad way to die and having your brains beaten out with a tire iron is a lot less fun than something that's sure and quick and so let's first get that logic straight there's nothing wrong with the state using lethal injection or some other quick humane method to put people down I hate that the state does it as a revenge I hate that they do it with malicious intent but the fact of the matter is there are people that deserve it that have earned it there's nothing about them we would have any why would Look, we have all these pit bulls that chew up people and stuff. What, should we keep them around just for the hell of it because we think that the dog should live for some stupid reason? Why? So we can pay to feed it and do all the rest of this crap for nothing so it can live in a cage? What is the fucking point in that? I mean, that is cruel to me. That would be the cruelty. So we have these people, and let's say they are legitimately convicted, okay, in a court, a jury trial, somebody has signed the death warrant and been accountable for the integrity of the decision being made. They've had their fucking appeals, and that's it, okay? They are guilty by the system's fairest possible determination, all right, of a heinous, disgusting, awful crime. What is the point in keeping them alive? Why? Because what? It sounds like a religion to me. It sounds like fucking religion. Your fucking respect for life, you'll fucking, you'll, you'll eat some animal that hasn't hurt anybody ever, hasn't done a malicious thing in its life. You couldn't give a shit about that. But you're going to worry about this scumbag who raped and murdered a five-year-old girl. I mean, it's, this is just disgusting. John Hughes admits killing a truck driver along I-29 in October of 2008. He told me he has murdered many more people. And tonight, we take you inside the mind of a serial killer. I don't think like normal people, never have. I have racing thoughts, it's been that way since I was a kid, I'm constantly, it doesn't matter if I'm asleep, if I'm awake, I'm constantly thinking of a hundred things at one time. Shackled, cuffed, and wearing a red jail suit. Red instead of orange because guards consider John Hughes unpredictable and dangerous. Tattooed on the back of Hughes' head, the words, casualty of war. Because what you want is to die. That's correct. That's the only thing worthy of a warrior, I guess you could say. Death. Hughes wants to be put to death. He admits killing a man in Ohio, stabbing him to death. Then on the run from Ohio police with his girlfriend and two other people, Hughes says he killed Valentin Kurlachuk, shot him in the mouth in this rest area north of Platte City, Missouri. Hughes says he had to kill to regain something very precious to him, control. Control over his passengers. I pulled into this rest area and that was a way for me to gain control, to, to show, I don't know, I guess I would assert my dominance, I guess you can say. That'd be the way to put it. And it shut everybody up for a while. One man dead, 
Three passengers petrified. Later they wanted out, but I told them that nobody was getting out of that truck, period, without, without a bullet in their head. And I asked, did anybody want out? <laughs> and they said no. So You don't feel bad about killing uh, anyone? Not personally, that I've personally done myself, no. I just view things as objects, people, animals, trees, cars, they're just all the same to me. What, just, what do you see in their face right before they die? Usually fear. John Hughes admits to killing people in Mississippi, Missouri, and Ohio. As far as the murders that I've been a part of, but there's been quite a few. A dozen? At least, somewhere around in there. Hughes doesn't believe in God, but he can recite the verse tattooed on his cheek from the book of John. Everyone that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard was coming and is now already in the world. According to the Christian Bible, everybody can't have the spirit of God in them. So you don't have the spirit of God? Not according to the Bible. If you're going by the, that route, then no, I definitely do not. The tattoo of a lion on his forearm is how Hughes sees himself. I'm a lion and I see everybody else is men. <laughs> and releasing a lion from captivity, Hughes warns, would mean more killings. I wouldn't let me go, no. I wouldn't advise anyone to, I mean, not unless, <laughs> not unless they want a lion loose in the streets. Because you kill again. More than positive. John has been representing himself in court, but is currently looking for an attorney because, like he said, he wants to be put to death. And Larry, my entire interview with John Hughes can be seen and heard on KMBC.com. Larry, it had to be an experience interviewing that guy. Well, it was. It was something that, that stayed with me and the two photographers that I, I worked with. Um, it was frightening and thrilling kind of all at the same time. Do you have any ounce of regret for anything that you've done? Yes for bringing something beautiful into a, a world that's killing everything anyway, that's dying, won't be here long anyway. I have a daughter. I mean, I'm not upset that she's born. I mean, I love her, but I'm upset that she's, I just wasn't thinking and brought her into a world that's, that's uh, people are killing themselves anyway. And so I just kind of, that's how I regret that. I mean, I don't regret her. I regret my 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 thinking. Mm -hmm. Now you have to understand, I'm not a I'm not a stupid guy. Mm -hmm. I've, I'm pretty smart in a lot of things, but uh, and I can't help the way I think. I don't know why it is that I am. I've questioned myself for that. It just is. It is what it is. Probably had less than every one of